Okay, hi everyone. So today let's uh, discuss this interesting problem. So it says figure shows a particle sliding on a frictionless uh, track which terminates in a straight horizontal section. If the particle starts uh, slipping from the point A, how far away from the track will the particle hit the ground? Fine. So this is your particle and uh, it starts uh, slipping from this point A. So you can take the initial velocity of the particle to be zero. Yahan se ye, you know, slide karna start karta hai and it will move on this curved path and finally it will reach to the end of this track hana ye end of the track pe aayega and then it will leave the track with some speed let's say v se ye leave karta hai it will leave the track horizontally because uh, this track is horizontal end of the track is horizontal and then the particle will move in this projectile path right projectile motion karta hua it will, the particle will hit the ground Uh, let's say at some distance x from the x, uh, from the end of the track end of track se kisi distance x pe aapka particle hit karega ground ko so we have to find out the value of x fine so dekho if uh, somehow we can find out the value of v v is the speed with which the particle will leave the track so if you uh, can find out the value of v then ye ek projectile motion ka question hai kisi height h se जब आप किसी पार्टिकल को हॉरिजॉन्टली प्रोजेक्ट करते हो विथ सम स्पीड वी देन कितने डिस्टेंस पे जाके आपका पार्टिकल हिट करेगा ग्राउंड को लेट से एक्स एक्स कैसे निकालेंगे एक्स विल बी अंडर रूट ऑफ टू एच अपॉन जी इन टू वी राइट ये कैसे आता है सिंपली टाइम ऑफ फ्लाइट इन टू स्पीड देखो एक्स डायरेक्शन में स्पीड ऑफ द पार्टिकल विल रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंट बिकॉज एक्स डायरेक्शन में एक्जेलरेशन नहीं होता राइट सो पार्टिकल एक्स डायरेक्शन में कॉन्स्टेंट स्पीड विच इज़ वी इनिशियल स्पीड जिससे आपने प्रोजेक्ट किया है सेम स्पीड से मूव करता रहेगा और कितने टाइम तक दैट इज़ टाइम ऑफ फ्लाइट और टाइम ऑफ फ्लाइट कहाँ से आएगा वाई डायरेक्शन से वाई डायरेक्शन में यू कैन राइट एस इज इक्वल टू यू टी प्लस हाफ ऑफ ए टी स्क्वायर फ्रॉम हेयर यू विल गेट द टाइम ऑफ फ्लाइट एस कितना होगा एच इनिशियल वेलासिटी इन वाई डायरेक्शन जीरो राइट सो यू टी जीरो हाफ ऑफ एक्जेलरेशन इन वाई डायरेक्शन जी डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन आई हैव टेकन पॉजिटिव राइट therefore displacement and acceleration and uh, you know they they are in y direction so therefore uh, they will be positive g into t square so from here you will get the time of flight as 2h upon g ka root and this time of flight you will multiply with the uh, speed in x direction which is constant so the distance the particle will travel in x direction will be simply speed into time v into time which is 2h by g so this is your x so you just have to find out the value of v the speed with which the particle will leave the track horizontally right because h is given h dekho ye kitna de rakha hai 0.5 so hame kya nikalna hai v nikalna hai so v kaise nikalenge by using work energy theorem right simply you can apply work energy theorem at uh, the uh, you know time when the particle is moving from this point a to the end of the track yahan pe aap work energy theorem apply karo ye aapka initial position hai and this is your final position so it says work done by all the forces is equal to change in kinetic energy now how many forces will be there on this particle ek to iska weight lagega right mg kisi bhi instant pe jab aap iska free body diagram banaoge so is pe do forces lagenge ek to iska weight lagega mg vertically downward and there will be normal reaction right acting uh, uh, perpendicular to the track ha na so what will be the work done by all the forces work done by normal reaction plus work done by mg that is equal to change in kinetic energy final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy initial kinetic energy of the particle uh, will be zero because initial speed is zero right now work done by normal reaction that will be zero because uh, you know the displacement of the particle will always be perpendicular to the normal reaction normal reaction perpendicular to the track lagega and the displacement of the particle will be in the tangential direction hai na tangential to the track hoga kisi bhi instant pe so you can say ki work done by the normal reaction will be zero now work done by mg you can take it to be negative of the change in gravitational potential energy that is your final kinetic energy so what is delta u uh, that is mg delta h right so minus of mg delta h uh, let me write somewhere else uh minus of delta u is equal to final kinetic energy and what is delta u uh, mg delta h so that is equal to half of m into v square m cancel ho jayega yahan se v aap nikal sakte ho that is 2g uh, delta h minus ka root now what is delta h delta h will be 
h final minus h initial so this is let me use a different color so you can understand it so this is your um, h initial right and this is your h final so what is h initial minus h oh sorry h final minus h initial that will be minus of 0.5 right aap dekho ye 0.5 de rakha hai aur ye 1 de rakha hai ye jo distance ye jo height hai ye 0.5 hai right so ye kitna hoga 0.5 and we have to calculate h final minus h initial so you can see h final is below h initial therefore h final minus h initial will be minus of 0.5 fine so we know uh that is minus of 0.5 so ye kitna ho jayega you can take it minus of 0.5 so ye 1 ho jayega so v is under root of g so what will be the value of x x kitna hoga yahan pe v ka value under root of g put kar sakte hain hum so uh, h ka value kitna hai h is 0.5 so root of 1 so that is 1 meter so the particle will hit the ground at a distance 1 meter from the end of the track x ka value kitna hai 1 meter fine i think it's clear let me know if you still have any confusion we can discuss further okay guys keep working hard best of luck bye